So how hard can it be to fly a drone? All you got to do is turn it on, take off, and fly round and round and round and round. Well, not exactly. And in today's video, I'm going to teach you basic drone controls and how to avoid crashing, or even worse, hurting other people. Let's get started. Now, it's important to know and understand the basics of flight before you just take off and fly. So I suggest if you haven't watched my pre-flight checklist video to go and do that now, and I'll link it in the cards above. All right, so step one in my three step process for learning the basics of flying and your controls is to simply adjust and set your camera to level. So if your camera is, you know, pointing way up like this or pointing way down like that, then you want to simply just bring it back up to level. The other setting to make sure that you're on is your speed setting. By default, when you start up your drone and you take off, every time it's going to default to normal speed. You want to adjust that to C for cinematic, or some people call it cine. It's the slowest mode for speed. All right, moving right on to step number two. Know your controls. Let's start with the left stick. The left stick, if you push forward, is going to allow you to ascend. And if you pull backward, you're going to descend. If you pull to the left, it's going to rotate clock or counterclockwise. And if you do the opposite, go to the right, you will rotate clockwise. Now the right joystick, if you push forward, you're going to actually move forward. And if you do the opposite, pulling backward, you're going to move backwards. Now, if you shift to the right or push to the right with your right joystick, you're going to bank to the right. And if you go to the left, you're going to bank to the left. All right, it's time for a quick tip. How do you get your drone back if it disconnects or has loss of signal with your remote control? I'll show you. At the top right hand corner, go ahead and tap on the three dots. Scroll all the way to the bottom and go to advanced safety settings. Tap on that. And at the top, it says signal loss. You're going to choose one of three options if your remote control disconnects from your drone. Return to home. So right where you took off is considered your home point unless you manually change that. Or you're gonna have it descend right where it lost control, which I don't recommend, <laughs> FYI. And the third option is to simply hover in place, which I think is ideal, second to return to home. On to our final step, number three, a basic flight pattern. We're going to do a circle pattern, and ideally you wanna have a nice open grassy area right in front of you so that you don't have to go very far at all to start your circle. Let's get going. So with your drone camera level, again, to toggle your uh, drone's camera, it's the left wheel, whether you have the new RC uh, controller or you have the RCN1, make sure it's level. And you wanna go up to about 15, 20 feet. Get a nice bird's eye view. 10, 11, 13, 16, 18, 20 feet. 22, whoops, there we go and just gradually push your uh, right stick forward just a little bit. Make sure you're in cinematic mode. Again, every time you uh, turn the drone off and turn it back on, it defaults back to N for normal. So you wanna switch it out of cinematic if that's where you were last time and then switch it back. And then up here in the left-hand corner, you'll see you're in cinematic mode with that CE. So just slightly push forward on the right wheel, or the right joystick, sorry. And as you're approaching those trees, start making your left turn. So that's gonna be your left joystick. And you're gonna slightly pull out to the left with the joystick. And you're just gonna make a nice gradual turn. And you can see I'm approaching a straightaway. If you have a big enough field, big enough area, or you, know, you make your circle smaller, you'll always have a straight shot area where you're just going straight before you make your next turn. So I'm just going straight right now. Now I'm starting to make my left turn with my left joystick pulling to the left. Those trees, believe it or not, are not as close as we may think. The camera does crop in when you're on video. 
And now as I'm approaching back to myself, I like to look away from the monitor. I'm just going straight, I'm not turning at all right now. And just w watching my drone. And then I'm gonna pull gradually to the left and start my second circle. Now hopefully this is fairly comfortable to you and not stressful, not too stressful. I know anxiety can definitely be a part of flying. But if you feel fairly comfortable at this point, you want to do a combination of descending and ascending. So now I'm on the straightaway. I'm going to come down from 20 feet to 10 feet, maybe 15. Well, there we go. I got my 10. I'm going to start making my left turn now. Start coming back to me. Oh, it looks like, oh, here's my straightaway. I was a little premature. All right. Now I'm banking to the left with my left joystick. I'm pulling to the left. And I'm still slightly pushing forward with my right stick. Keep that forward momentum going. And now as I'm coming back towards myself, I'm at 11 feet. I'm going to go up to 20 feet. 14, 17, 19, 20. Ooh, there I am. Staring at my drone. Took my eyes off the monitor. It's good practice to get used to watching the drone and controlling it at the same time when you're right in front of it. And now I am behind the drone. It's going away from me. I'm going to look down at my monitor, start following what my monitor is showing me so I know my boundaries. I'm going to descend down to 10 feet. There we go. 9.8, 9.2. We can see the shadow of the drone on the bottom on the grass. I'm going to stop right here. All right, now on to step number four. That's right. There's another step. Return to home. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you the best settings for return to home that will get your drone back to you safely. You can click or tap up here. That's it.